Hey guys, my name is Nick Engelke. I'm the marketing manager here at Pro Performance. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Eddie Franco. I am the warehouse associate over here at Pro Performance. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Travis. I'm the owner of Pro Performance and we're basically going to sit down and you're going to learn a little bit about Pro Performance and what got started. Part of what I do here is event planning for shows, overseeing social media, product development, making sure our pricing, our price structure is uh, in order, and uh, coming up with sale and promo ideas. I met Travis around 2009, 2010 at Vier. We both worked there around the same time. Um, at the time, I was in the warehouse department, and he was uh, he's a graphic arts coordinator. And just through mutual interest, we crossed paths and became friends, and been friends ever since. I started at Pro Performance in uh, early 2015, I think February 2015 is when I started. I remember I was coming home from work, it was like a rainy, rainy night, it was a long day, I was at work longer than I should have been and Travis had called me and uh, basically offered me a tentative position at Pro Performance. I was ready for something new, I was ready to take a plunge and uh, just take a leap of faith and do something different and, uh, and I did, I accepted the offer. and came out in February, and uh, it's by far been the best decision I ever made. Hey, what's up, I'm Eddie Franco. I am the warehouse associate over here at Pro Performance, getting into a little bit of sales. Uh, my job consists of a few things. I do a lot of the packaging, shipping, and receiving of the product we have here. I'm slowly but surely getting into some of the sales, so I pick up phones every once in a while, help some customers out. Working over here at Pro Performance is probably one of the best moves I've made in my life. Uh, it's a super great place to work. The two guys I work with, Travis and Nick, they're some pretty genuine, awesome guys here. It doesn't really feel like a job to me anymore. At first it did because it was something so foreign to me with the whole shipping and receiving packages and stuff like that, but now it's just part of my daily routine and it's what I do and I'm proud of it. So Pro Performance originally came up from I've always been into trucks, did it as a kid. My dad uh, had trucks, sport trucks in the 90s, uh, dually. So coming from that background and, and my dad always being around cars, street rods and everything, so naturally I picked it up, right? I've always been in the automotive industry. I went to school for graphics, uh, got done with school and, and went into the industry and I worked for Vire for a little bit and did creative direction. But at a certain point, I was like, I wanna break off and and do, do what I love and start my own business and uh, essentially move to Arizona. So I, that's kind of where it came from. I was just kind of forced me into it. I had to do something and, and make money and provide for the family. At the time I was just engaged. So getting, getting married and had to get a foundation down. So moved, started the business and just started going at it. So that's kind of where it evolved from and the love of trucks basically. But as far as getting the name out there, we still don't advertise too much, um, you know, here and there, but we just use the power of social media. And I did that when I started um, the forum, 6772 forum was obviously uh, big back then. And then going to shows, I almost from day one, I did shows and, you know, I, and that kind of goes back to, you know, where I got started. So I always went to shows with my dad when I was a kid. So naturally starting my own company, where did I learn all about all these parts and where did my dad buy parts when he went? I mean, he would go to the shows specifically to buy parts, get new products or, or whatever was new. So that's what I did. So I would say going to shows, getting the name out there was probably the most valuable resource I had at the time. Welcome to Pro Performance. You basically, the whole company just sat down. So this is it. You're looking at a corporate office right here. World headquarters. It's so crazy to see. Like this place is not all that. Big and crazy. I mean, we're in a 2,200 square foot shop, um, 1,100 being showroom and office, and the other 1,100 being uh, warehouse. But so crazy to me that like it has gotten to this. Like I would never thought I was sitting in my office space and oh yeah, we're gonna move into ending the night. office working well, yeah, side by yeah. side in the guest yeah. room. So yeah, he and started. I was living with him at the time. Yeah. So super weird for a little bit, <laughs> but, we made it work. but we offer uh, moving services when you sign up with us. Um, and actually I did, I drove out to California and helped you move all yeah. your stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, packed it up in the work trailer, <laughs> moved you to Arizona. But yeah, so crazy to see that this, it became this, and uh, we were talking a little earlier about the forklift. Like I was so excited to get a forklift. Like the pallet jack, the pallet jack the was budget. huge. Yeah. That was a huge deal because remember we used to, this is pre-Eddie, so sorry. 
Yo, yeah. I just, uh, but yeah, we used to get stuff in where we had the closet in Mesa. I call it the closet. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. not half this, but we used to get power, our truck freight and they would drop it. Or they drop it in the parking lot. We said in, the open spot they had a lift gate. Yeah, yeah. And a pallet jack to bring yeah. it in our one door. We didn't have a big yeah. door. It was just one entrance type deal. And so we had to break it all down. Yeah. yeah, break it all down, bring it in a box, and then stack them like probably eight feet tall. So glad those fit all there. So yeah, that, the forklift, huge, huge deal. Like that was. That was important. Yeah. It still is. We use it every day. Yeah. It's probably something I'll just keep. Like, well, maybe we'll get a new forklift and I'll just keep that one. That's yeah. sentimental value. I don't know. <laughs> but, well, like, well, if we didn't have a forklift, you would just unload it all. Yeah, it's but like, now you're just, welcome. Now I just drive it yeah. to stick shit. Yeah, which I thought, yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's the uh, the craziest. Yeah, so for a lot of people that didn't know, this, I started working out of my garage in my house. They came on, time. yep, yeah. working out of the house, and then we moved out of the house. When I say we, Nick, since he was working there, we moved out to a Mesa location. We're there. We outgrew that actually pretty God, dang six fast. Six months. Yeah, six months. Six months when we were done. Yeah, and then moved in here. Uh, almost a year ago. Coming up yeah. on a year. So yeah. it was one person for three years, then you, and then three years later, him. Just so we'll probably be doing about two and a half years. Like, yeah. For somebody yeah. else. So. But yeah, this is. Uh, That's crazy. This is it. Yeah. Crazy. You'll see, and maybe someday you'll see where this. You'll look back and you'll be like, Dang, we had this small. Yeah, we had this small yeah. little showroom. But yeah, I think I think the goal is to always keep it mom and pop. So yeah. you'll you'll call in. There's no. Recorded message, press one for sales, two for this. Yeah, like to me, stuff. before before I worked here, I had never been in here, and I didn't know. I thought it was a whole like corporate <laughs> business. I thought there was. I think a lot of people, a lot of people think that. Yeah, they show up and they're just us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So a lot of people think that, but no, it's very. I mean, like I said, this 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 is it. You call and you're gonna get a person. Well, and if you don't, well, we're one busy. Of us three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, if you don't then. I wanna circle back to shipping in your garage. Shipping porter-built suspension in your garage in the summer. That was terrible. Was the most god-awful thing yeah. I've ever yeah. had to do. 100 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> Working for here, oh yeah. my god. Yeah. yeah. Well, not like it's AC'd out here, but yeah. It's a little yeah. better, Yeah. it's a little better. Yeah, so what's different in the five years, or what's changed in five years with the business, even C10 truck scene. Well, for the business, everything, because we're only seven years old. Um, but the truck scene, I think, has really changed. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you're getting a lot more guys that, and I don't know if you guys will agree, but uh, which I think is a good thing, but a lot more guys that are maybe not necessarily were into trucks, but now, because there's so much more bolt-on parts and, and means to do this, a lot more guys that normally wouldn't are now, okay, yeah, I'll get one. I think it's more accessible with the aftermarket parts. It's more yeah. universals, more bolt-on, but you're seeing a lot of other people uh, incorporate ingenuity in their builds. You're seeing anything from mild yeah. to wild with blazers, Tahoes, yeah. square bodies. I mean, it's, 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 it's taken shape in the last five years uh, for sure. But even truck shows, truck, we have you know, C10-specific truck shows, and we're, you know, everyone's kind of branching off from good guys and shows like that to C10s in the park or, or, you know, the get down obviously, your LST is predominantly C10, so it's, everything's kind of yeah. morphed a little bit in the last five years, which is cool to see. It's grown a lot, like, hugely. I mean, even, you're kind of young, but I mean, I'm sure even yeah. you're... Growing up, I, I, I can say I kind of grew up in the scene. Uh, a lot of people that I talk to now still involved in the scene, they like to say they watched me grow up. Especially this guy too and Nick. Like they kind of did watch me grow up in the scene, but... Well, well I tell them no more little Eddie. Yeah. Just I'm not, Eddie. I'm not little Eddie just anymore. Eddie. I'm just Eddie. Yeah. Uh, but a lot has changed. It's funny seeing like, especially the price, because me being 19 and wanting to see <laughs> yeah. and stuff, five years ago, these trucks were two grand. Now you go online on Craigslist and you look for a square body that's rest it out and they're fired yeah. Grand, you know? Yeah, and ridiculous. It's crazy, but other than that, the scene's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah. You start seeing them driving down the freeway now. Right? Yeah. It's, like it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. I mean, I think it's allowed, like I said, the suspension stuff, uh, the bolt-on stuff, and anything. Yeah. I think it's allowed more of the average guy. So get, there's more parts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like it's not so much, oh, well, you can't fabricate, so you're not going to have a back truck that lays on the ground. Yeah. So, there's an yeah, option for everybody. I mean, I know there's this negative thing about, well, you didn't build it, you bolted on. But I mean, sometimes there's something to be said for, someone already did the homework, why not buy it and put right. it on? I don't think there's anything wrong with no, that. I, I mean, sure. and then 
you can tweak it and make your own from there. But yeah, allow that entry level guy to come in and say, okay, cool, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna have a truck. And then there's still the way over the top builds, which is cool. Yeah, it's kind of a league of their own. Yeah. But I think the best but, part of all of this is that it allows people to start wrenching again. It allows people to uh, start working in their garage or having a father son build or you know yeah. kind of revive the hot rod scene a little bit. I feel like. Yeah, I think it's I think it's going in a good direction. I mean, at some point it's probably yeah. gonna. Plateau, but I, sure. mean, yeah. I think they'll always be there. So where do we kind of see ourselves in five years? Uh, it's a pretty good question. I mean, part of it is I, I don't know, but I mean, I want to always push forward and continue. Like this year we started doing installs, so we've always been so parts heavy, and now we offer installs. So I think that was a good, a good push forward into keeping to evolve, and then we have our React suspension line, um, which is going to be... And you've probably kind of, some people have seen that, but uh, our React suspension line, that's all going to be under the bed stuff. And trying to evolve that and get that rolling and kind of let that be its own brand, I think that would be really cool to, to see that grow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, going off what Travis said, React is a great suspension option because it's, it's for the mid-level drop guys, and there's not a lot of options in that sense. So infiltrating that market with... Suspension like that, I think, is important. I think the 88 to 98 scene, um, as Ronnie says, it's not coming, it's here. I do think yeah. it's here, so getting ahead of that curve is important. But I think the Fords will take off soon, any day now, it kind of seems like. So we'll um, kind of address that, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, try when, to, try to get into that. Yeah, in the next five years. So, yeah, I, you know, yeah, continuing to evolve with the, the mix and stuff. I think yeah. that's, that's yeah, good. That's where I see it going. And then, you know, Move Eddie. Eddie will pick up in sales as we get more busy, so I, I know that's gonna happen. And I don't know, what do you think in five years? Uh, I see myself as a salesman with a couple guys. I feel like we'll end up having a couple guys in the back sending out parts. Yeah, five as soon years. as you're in sales, we'll need someone in. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's true. So, so that's true. that'll be one guy, and I'm sure it'll get hectic for one dude, and then it'll be two. Yeah. You know, and need a big hey, you shop. never know. You never know. Maybe we'll be doing <laughs> installs out of the back of the shop as well. You know, yeah. that's where you think we'll be in five it's years. Five years. Or it goes to hell and we're back working in your house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Overall, I mean, I think we'll be expanded, of yeah. course. So with good people, you know, like these two guys as a team and, and working and progressing forward, I mean, I don't think it's anything but good things can happen in five years. So what makes us unique uh, and why why go to pro performance? I, I think the, the wide variety of what we sell is what makes us unique. I mean, where else can you go? and buy a rear end, big brakes, um, static drop kit, AC system, gauges. I mean, you almost name it custom wheels. I mean, usually you see a shop that is, okay, we do, we do performance stuff for the engine, uh, or you know, we focus on just custom wheels, that's all we do. But we literally do everything. I mean, we have the, I, what I believe is the widest variety of parts, and we're a C10 uh, specific. I mean, that's all we do. That's it? Yeah. yeah. Outside yeah. of the interior and paint, the meat and potatoes of what you Pretty much buy your old truck here. We can facilitate. Yeah. So yeah. We've had a few guys that have. <laughs> so, I mean, they've become really good customers of ours, and, you know, obviously we really appreciate that. But, yeah, it's... And we stop a good truck. It's true, because I, yeah. walk, I walk through the warehouse, and one day, it was kind of a slower day, and I'm walking through, and I look through every part, and I was like, wow. We're busy that day? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so I was like, wow. We actually have parts to build almost a whole truck, like other than other than yeah. bed sides and doors and stuff like that. But which we're working on. We're working. So be patient. Yeah, in time. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our video about the start of Pro Performance and what we do here. We know you have a lot of choices on where to buy your C10 truck parts, but give us a call, let us know how we can help with your build and we'll be glad to help. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on social media. Thanks guys. All right, that's All right. it. Brian, that's it. we're good. That's it. Let's go, let's right. do it. I'm gonna close up the shop. You guys made it this far uh, got a little promo code for you guys check the description below and uh, type it in on your order you'll save yourself some money see you guys later don't tell Travis <laughs> <laughs>